This is Reviewer Magazine, and I'm uh, here at the uh, the North Park uh, Music Fest with John Ellard, who is uh, working on getting petitions signed. The petition signed for the uh, the, the marijuana issue in, in San Diego. What is, what is the uh, the issue right now with the city, John? My understanding is the city council voted two weeks ago to close down our dispensaries. Uh -huh. They can close for at least one year. Apply for a permit to reopen, and then if they do get permitted to reopen, they're going to reopen in an industrial zone. We expect 8,000 people to be out of a job by January 1st. Uh, we're asking voters to sign our referendum so the citizens of San Diego can give the matter a yes or no vote instead of letting five politicians on the city council decide the issue. Our city council is not listening to the voters of California who voted overwhelmingly for Proposition 215. And we think it's important that the politicians listen to the voters. So please sign our initiative if you're a voter. If you don't get a chance to sign it, vote yes on it in February's election. Thank you. What, what, is, what is the, uh, real quick before um, before we finish, I know you need to get more signatures, no but worries. what is the deadline? What is the deadline for getting this uh, petition done? It started 14 days ago. We have 30 days, so we have 16 days left. To get 33,000 okay. is my understanding of the number. Gotcha. We're shooting for about 47, so we have plenty of cushion for the ones that aren't valid okay. and the ones that aren't registered to vote and the ones that are unreadable or if they abbreviate it, the politicians scratch off and don't count. Ah. So we need lots of San Diego voters to sign this initiative. Now, now how many do you think you have so far? Not What's sure. We're doing a rough count tomorrow. Um, they think they're really close, so my guess okay. would be we're at about 30,000. We'll so probably far. make it. Probably no, make it'll it. definitely make it. Okay. Uh, we know we'll be done by next Friday. Okay, and, and the whole thing with what they want to do with um, with this, the, the point, the reason why the city is doing this is because they want to make it so they have to shut down for a year to, to have them incur that hardship. Right. And then also, if they if they do um, reopen, they, they want them to uh, have to be in an industrial zone, like you said. Right. But also, they can't, they have to have a uh, security guard, is that true? Uh, you know, I'm not really sure. On That's that. one thing I heard they do. I know most dispensaries do have security there because there's been a lot of robberies at dispensaries in California. But I mean, the, so, I'm not sure if they're forcing them or not. not yeah, not sure. I, that, from, that was my understanding, that that would be a requirement. Also, that they can't be near a school or a church, right. which doesn't seem... I mean, you know, what's the logic to not be near a church? It doesn't That's seem real restrictive, but, okay, we sell Budweiser, we sell Jack Daniels, we sell Johnny Walker near every church right. and school. Yeah, and liquor so, stores don't get robbed. Hypocritical so, to me <laughs> yeah. that you're banning marijuana. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it's, it's not, okay, you know, a lot of people still think marijuana is a drug, and I respect their views as yeah. Americans. Unfortunately, it's, you know, it's very hypocritical, I believe, to sell whiskey. Beer, Jack right. Daniels, whatever. And pharmacies don't need to be not near a church or a school. Pharmacies right. don't need to get a security guard. Um, you know, and then the liquor stores, they get robbed more often than probably anybody, and they don't have to, they're not required to have uh, security guards, so it just seems really Cab drivers, cool. cab drivers get robbed a right. lot. Lots of people get robbed. Yeah, yeah. It's basically a political issue. My personal is. opinion is that they want to look dispensary good. started opening up in neighborhoods where those voters give politicians money on our city council. So our politicians, all of a sudden, with all the things going on in our city, decided that this was an important issue. And it was a five to four vote on the city council, is what my understanding is. Hmm. Um, so, Who's you know, the dissenting vote? I, I don't know. You don't know? Okay. I don't know all nine city councilmen. I, know, I could probably name three. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right on. Well, thank you, John. You're very welcome. Good luck with everything, uh, and uh, well, see you in February. My correct. You guys vote yes on it in February. Very Actually, important. is there a website people can go you. for? Go it's for more It's at the city's website. The entire initiative is posted at the city's website. It is the San Diego City uh, website. It's at sandiegocity.gov. Awesome. Well, have a good one. You as well. Thank, thank you. you.